Hello, hello, and welcome back, guys, to a new Kubel Space Program video. And today we're going to build, as you probably saw from the thumbnail and or the um, title of the video, a surface base on the moon, a science surface base. So here we are in the um, space plane hangar where we're going to first construct the um, the surface base. So I'm going to build pretty much everything together here. Um, usually, kind of, if you've seen previous videos and um, previous two surface base, or I'm not sure whether I've seen two or three surface base videos actually. But there, I usually build everything in a monolithic structure, as <laughs> Madlone usually says. So I build the entire space, uh, the entire surface base, in one piece and launch it like that. And so I decided to go this type of a slightly different approach. Um, by the way, as you can see here, and in the future, there will be a few times where we're going to jump into onto the runway and just test the different action groups and whether things work out, and so on and so forth. So, back to the main topic. So, usually, like I said, I build the entire surface base, or so just generally all my most, not quite all, but most structures, even space stations, I usually build in one launch because, well, actually, I just can't be bothered to do multiple launches. But in terms of space stations, it's actually a lot more fun to build them one part at a time to improve up them, improve them with every launch, with every episode. It's quite a fun thing to do, in my opinion. So I really like that part of the um, yeah building process. One can could call that thing. And yeah, well, with, but with surface bases, it's a little bit less kind of. I couldn't really figure out why you do the surface space in multiple launches since it's mainly just a bothersome thing to dock things together on the ground. But I really try to right now or tried when filming the video, which was actually today. So <laughs> but anyways, so when building this kind of or just thinking up this kind of mission, which yeah was not today but we thought about this kind of mission profile base building it's only already a couple of days so just to to make it pretty decent video and so on and so forth but anyway so i try to grow as a Kerbal space program player so i would like to or i'm interested in improving my skills as well so that's why i decided to go i would say with <laughs> for a change but maybe this will be the new norm in the future so who knows so like i said i decided to go with a multiple multiple kind of setup by uh, uh, having different types and different specializations for each kind of module or segment as you can see we as you saw the, the, the central part as well as the laboratory and the viewing port I first actually thought about building a not a comms tower as I built there but rather a light tower with just lights around it so that we have a good kind of light source on the surface but then I decided let's just stick the lights onto the um, Kapala module this should be more or less enough height to provide a decent amount of light on the ground and just stick with the communications array that can fold up and then the second part as you can see here building right now is the mining slash electricity array and as you can see here we are have to arms which somewhat resemble to the space station video where we have also two triple solar arrays that can fold it down and then extend it. This one won't be extended but still can be folded down in order to fit everything more neatly into a fairing and yeah so it's a bit thought pro kind of improving and trying to have a look with it this is maybe even more reasonable, well not only more reasonable but they're also more interesting and docking the things together is what we're going to test right here so driving things around in the runway is pretty easy actually with this structure with the landing wheels, small landing wheels underneath the main fuselage of the base and then docking this with the rover which is attached to one of the two segments and of course you could um, detach the rover and attach it to the other one and vice versa but anyhow now we're jumping right into the launch actually it 
this mission won't feature a lot of the launching process in both of the segments since we're going to send them to like the two segments separately like I said earlier this will be constructed on the surface of the moon together and now we are sending the first segment which is the Kapolo mod the command center and the science center with the rover attached to it and the rocket itself is pretty much self-explanatory I guess just a regular actually a very large with the making history DLC parts, the 5 meter fairing, because the entire thing was just too wide to fit in the smaller fairing, so that's why having the bigger parts is really comfortable, I guess, and good to, to manage. And we can do everything in a at least somewhat reasonably realistic fashion, having a fairing around the entire payload, not like my second video, I guess. The generally the second video I released on the entire YouTube channel is the polar base to Duna, and there I tried in the beginning smoking everything into a fairing with assembling in orbit and then launching it, la landing it like like that. But in the end, I just went without a fairing because it couldn't fit inside, and it's kind of a thing that I don't really like to do or would actually pre um, prefer not doing in the future so that's why we're launching everything even with the biggest fairing even though the payloads are generally quite light even though they are very wide and in big dimensions yeah so and here we are on the second launch the same launcher just a different kind of payload and after the kind of you saw the earlier in the first segment actually that we were in a parking orbit around the moon the second module followed swiftly after and now we are landing the first module like i said on the moon so we are landing at the south pole and that's because like i said in the previous video we're, we're building some sort of gateway similarity the small space station in orbit around the moon um, so that's why i decided let's go for even more similarities to the moon, like the real moon kind of project right now with the gateway and the space, well, surface space, which will probably be on the south pole of the moon. So yeah, and that's why I decided let's go for the south pole in KSP as well. So yeah. Uh, by the way, tell me down in the comments below whether you would like me to show more of the transfer burns more of the trans transfer time or just like me just to quickly jump from the boring transfer part to the more interesting landing and surface part and speaking of surface we have safely touched down there however on the way we would touch down quite in the hilly region obviously south, south pole but it was a especially hilly position so I decided let's drive a bit further because I saw slightly ahead there a pretty decent place However, whilst driving there, we tipped over the rover and lost one of our um, landing legs, but luckily we still had the descent stage on top there, so we could um, correct this small error there. Now on to the second stage, as you can see here, this is the contraption, descent contraption of the second stage, ditching the transfer stage there, we are still quite a bit off from our target and now you'll just see what, what, what's going to happen and now if you're paying attention to the speed indicator we're picking up speed well obviously we're burning down but now we're still picking up speed even though we're burning pretty straight up and that's because for those who don't know the thrusters are too much inside kind of too much not far enough outside of the body and even though we have a thrust to edge ratio of 3.5 and yeah you guys know where this is heading and that's just design error I should have tested this out but luckily there were no crew on board and so if you <laughs> sometime later with a new launch and a new descent vehicle we have a slightly or a safer approach let's say it this way we're not going to crash in the surface and instead of going through the entire load a second time here we're just going to jump 
right to the landing here. And actually, I have a second question. So, in the since my restart, well, restart, since my long break because of my military service, um, and my new three other Kerbal Space Program videos, I've used, and in this one as well, quite a lot of music, like commentary, like commentary music, commentary, or music and commentary together. And there's my question to you guys, do you like this setup, having some slight background music, or would you prefer just having the commentary, or would you just prefer having just music so you just shutting up and you guys can just let the footage talk to, to you and a <laughs> slightly hard landing there, and just enjoy the background music there. I'm actually really interested in what your thoughts on that are. And I'd really appreciate if you could type that down in the comments below. And speaking of down there, I would also obviously appreciate if you were to give it a like and a subscribe since this really makes me really happy and obviously I'd like to grow the YouTube channel a bit further. So everything that makes it stick out a bit more is always appreciated. And other links are as well down in the description below for the and Discord server where you can always chat with me on the Instagram page where I usually post a few screenshots uh, here and there and maybe some announcements from time to time. But, yeah. Anyway, so now back to the beautiful footage on screen, which is always the new land of the second module. Very close to the first module, like to the this module, we're actually moving around because we have the rover already docked to it, so there's no point in undocking it and docking it to the other one and this is like the obvious reason but the other not so obvious reason is we've lost like I said one of the four landing legs and this would make the contraption slightly slightly a bit more unstable so I decided let, let's just leave the rover there as a stabilization until we've docked it and this would make the thing a bit safer yeah obviously safer um, so now coming in for the second try, closing in and just gently kissing each other, extending the landing legs and there we have docked the two parts of the space station, no, not space station, of the service bay together. And now on to the beautiful deployment with the action groups 1, 2, 3 and 4 in this order, so you can ensure how beautifully deployed and the thing. And with that said, um, I really hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, this surface space construction at least. Um, in the next episode, we're probably, probably going to bring down some crew from the Orbital Gateway here. So, before we're going to finish up, there's one slight remark I have still. Uh, one small thing I have to say on that maybe this using as a polar base is not the most intelligent thing because of the solar arrays, since these won't get too much solar energy because we're on the side of the would get more if they were upright and not laying on the ground. But if this were a regular surface base somewhere, maybe less, <laughs> you know, not that high longitude, no, latitude, sorry, um, then well, this would make more sense. So, thank you guys very much for watching, and until next time, Space Sheep, signing out. Enjoy the rest of your day.